Texas is a growing state. From 36 to 38, Texas gained two additional congressional seats due to an increase of new people living in the state. It is now up to Texas lawmakers to approve a new redistricting map to fit those two new seats. What happens then is every state decides how is it that you're going to divide those seats up? Because we have a lot of representation, because we're a large state, it goes to the legislature and it's done largely along party lines. The redistricting process is done every 10 years by the controlling party in the state based on the new census data. In this case, the Republicans are the ones drawing up the map. Those two additional seats that were created by the population growth in the state uh, were essentially, uh, their growth was due essentially to Hispanic growth. However, uh, the uh, Hispanic control of those districts was essentially uh, eliminated by the redistricting plan. Eddie Carter is an assistant professor at Prairie View A&M University. Based on the map, he believes the Republicans went in with the plan to secure their control. Uh, Republicans uh, essentially uh, secured their grip on Texas politics for what is essentially the next 10 years. Uh, via the redistricting maps and uh, guidelines. The new map includes Austin as their own district. When compared to other maps, it was split up. Carter says this was more than likely done on purpose. It carved out uh, the Democrats uh, and gave them their own district with regard to the 37th district. And it looks as though on the face that was a very gracious act on the part of the Republicans. But really the intention and the legislative motivation behind that was simply to prevent surrounding Republican areas from being uh, in districts from being overtaken uh, by democratic growth in those areas. One thing political science experts can agree on is that once this map is passed, there will be lawsuits filed to fight it. For now, there will be a conference committee to hash out the final product before going to the governor's desk for final approval. They will iron out the final details. What's going to come out of that committee is very much what we saw last night with a Republican edge of maybe plus two seats and the new seats that Texas got most likely going to the Republicans. Amanda Ruiz, Fox 7 Austin News.